So some of you have such a strong anointing. Some of you have such a, a great calling on your life. You have a calling to go to the nations. God cannot put you with any and everyone. And so allow him to choose for you. Allow him to choose that person. Allow him to help you to choose. Hello there, beautiful people. What's up? It's your girl, Sherry Ann. I'm here. I'm back with another quick word. For those of you who are tuning into this channel for the very, very first time, I want to welcome you to the channel. And I also want to welcome you to be a part of this family. So listen up, guys. Listen up. The Lord have sent me here to speak to someone to declare over someone hallelujah i don't know who you are but on the 23rd the lord have said to me the 23rd of november the lord said to me off the market off the market guys i was taken back because i'm like huh off the market what is the lord trying to say what is the holy spirit trying to say to me hallelujah but instantly he spoke to my spirit and I knew exactly what he was saying to me. I believe that the Lord gave me this word specifically for a friend of mine, a beautiful, beautiful daughter um, in Christ, a beautiful friend of mine. But I know that this word is for someone else. The Lord instructed me um, to bring it forth because I know, I know, I know there's someone under the sound of my voice that God is saying to you, off the market you're no longer on the market you're taken um, God have showed you or confirmed to you who is your kingdom partner hallelujah and for those of you who are not there as, as yet I decree and declare that 2024 that you will meet that God ordained spouse that you will meet that one that God has for you that you will meet your kingdom partner that you will meet that person that God have orchestrated for you even before the foundation of the earth and so guys God specifically told me years ago um, that a relationship that kingdom ordained relationships are not only for our a pleasure that's not what it's for God has a unique purpose God has a unique plan when he brings two people together look at Adam and Eve um, in the garden he said to Adam you know subdue the earth and multiply hallelujah and so there's a specific purpose there's a specific calling for you and your spouse hallelujah and so God cannot put you with any and everyone and so I recommend I speak to many of you and I say you know allow the Lord to help you to choose allow the Lord to bring you together with that person that he have orchestrated for you some of you have been chosen on your own some of you have been chosen I am guilty of this many years ago choosing being in and out of relationships until I said no more no more I was married I was divorced and I said no more I'm going to allow Allow the Lord to choose for me because I know that he's going to put me with someone that is best suited for me someone that I can um, build with someone that he have chosen according to his purpose and plans for my life and so God wants the same for you I desire the same for you hallelujah hallelujah and so some of you have such a strong anointing some of you have such a, a great calling on your life. You have a calling to go to the nations. God cannot put you with any and everyone. And so allow him to choose for you. Allow him to choose that person. Allow him to help you to choose. Hallelujah. 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 God gives his children beautiful gifts. I'm telling you guys. God gives beautiful gifts and he wants to give something to you beautiful and so allow him to connect you with that person allow him to choose for you hallelujah he took me to Ecclesiastes 4 9 and it says two are better than one 
because they have a good return for their labor hallelujah and this is what i'm saying there's a specific task for you and your kingdom partner there's a specific thing that god wants to accomplish between you both in the earth in the set time hallelujah allow him to do that allow him to do that sometimes the enemy brings the counterfeit sometimes the enemy brings the imitation but i decree and declare that for 2024 many of you are coming into that place where you will encounter who god has for you you will encounter who god have chosen for you you will encounter that partner that is best suited for you hallelujah that you can go forth and do the things of god that he have ordained up for you even before the foundation of the earth there's a specific person that god have set apart for you child of god yes he have set apart someone specifically for you to accomplish that assignment here in the earth hallelujah it says if either of them fall down one can help the other up but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up also if two lie down together they will keep warm but how can one keep warm alone though one may be overpowered two can defend themselves a card of three strands is not quickly broken hallelujah you your spouse and the holy spirit that card is not is not easily broken hallelujah allow god to knit you with the person that he has for you hallelujah hallelujah give god the opportunity to help you choose this time child of god I'm telling you, you will not regret it. I am telling you, you will not regret it. And so I remember a few years ago, God saying to me, you, your spouse, and me. When he brought my spouse, when he introduced me to my spouse, he said, him, me, and you. And it says here, a card of three strands is not quickly broken. And this is you, your spouse, and the Holy Spirit. That, that, three cannot be easily broken and so when God puts a person together no one can separate it says in his word whom I have joined together let no man separate allow God to join you allow God to put you with the person that he have orchestrated for you even before the foundation of the earth hallelujah and so guys i am so excited for next year there's something god have laid on my heart so strong there's many of you are in covenant relationships in the past and it's stopping you from going forward it's stopping you from meeting your god ordained spouse many of you um are tied with spirit husbands and god wants to break you free god wants to cut that off so you can come into meeting your spouse this is not everyone but some of you god have told me that some of his children um are tied together with spirit husband and spirit spouses and this could be generational or this could be a past relationship that you have been in and you're still tied it's like the the the, the card have not been broken that relationship has not been broken and god wants to set you free of this and so i believe strongly in my in my spirit that god is going to allow me to have another conference in january dealing specifically with kingdom partners because god wants you to be with that god ordained spouse and i decree and declare that in 2024 you will meet that god ordained spouse you will meet the one that god has for you god have taken me through the process and so i am ready to share with you um how to do it there may be some spiritual implications stopping you from meeting that person that God has ordained for you. And so we are going to break these cycles and we are going to pray for our spouses. We are going to pray for our spouses and watch how God connect you with the one that God has for you. Hallelujah. So guys, that is the word. Someone under the sound of my voice, you're under off the market and god is confirming this to you but i always 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 recommend that you take it back to the lord i when i met my kingdom partner guys i would fast 
to to be sure i would come out off of a fast and then i'll be back on another fast because i wanted to be sure is this the one that you have called for me i wanted to be sure without a doubt and god is so good he is such a good father that he will confirm to you over and over and over if it means he have to confirm to you a hundred times he will do it so that you will not make the mistake of going with the wrong person god wants the right person for you he has the right person for you hallelujah when adam and eve came together it was for a purpose god planted them together for a purpose he said to adam subdue the earth take dominion subdue the earth and multiply and so there's a purpose there's a calling for you and your spouse and god doesn't want you to miss that hallelujah god doesn't want you to miss out on what he has for both of you to do in the earth so guys that is it i thank you all for tuning in i love you guys so very much Stay blessed, stay tuned, and until my next one, bye.